So hello, welcome to another Saturday. Um, it's really, really definitely autumn now. <laughs> I mean, it's it's there's no leaves left. Um, it's well, it's November. It's not surprising. In fact, it's November the twelfth. And November, as you may know, is Movember. So a lot of people in the office have been growing moustaches for the prostate cancer charity. Um, I'm just lazy and I don't shave very often. But I thought today would be a good uh, day to show you what I would look like if I did have a moustache. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's going in 15 minutes. In fact, it better go before Crystal comes home or else. I should imagine I'll get a, get an interesting look. So um, so here it is uh, for one, one night only, um, my moustache. There we go, that's how ridiculous I would look if I had a moustache. Voila. Pretty stupid, yes? So, <laughs> now it's going to disappear and then I'll go back to looking normal. Welcome to another episode of... Trophy Stupid Vlog! So, right here's the problem with autumn, generally. Um, I've just left the house for the first time. <laughs> I haven't got a watch on. That's not autumn's fault. I've just left the house for the first time and it's just about one o'clock and that means it'll be dark in two and a half hours. So that's a bit rubbish. So there's a fair chance I could go a whole day and not see daylight. Anyway, now looking normal, which is an improvement, or as normal as it gets. <laughs> people are on this bus. As always, there's nobody on this bus. It's my private bus, <laughs> directly home. Style icon or maybe just man in a stupid hat. You decide. He's the only one that loves the hat, like no one else loves the hat apart from Bentley. Yeah, that's because he's slightly mental in the fashion department. <laughs> That's what being 37 brings you. Welcome to some late night Sainsbury's shopping. The way all shopping should be done, in the dark. Lit only by fluorescence. Very exciting. Back to the place of the pumpkin massacre. So, shopping complete. Record time, thanks to iPhone related uh, shopping lists and all that. Just seeing going there. Uh, it's got a total cost of 23 English pence. Amazing. No joke, genuinely, that's 23 pence worth of shopping. Thanks to Nectar Points. So it's a misty autumn morning, and I finally get to walk into work for the first time in ages is awesome because I love this walk. I guarantee you, you do not have a walk into work this good because I've never, <laughs> I've never had a walk anywhere this good almost. But it's nice to do it because it's been about three weeks since I managed to do it last. In fact, it's almost warm when I did it last. So, uh, sky is bluish. Give it a go. Look at that. Mist over the river, low sun, and a thousand dog walkers. But it is really beautiful today. And carrying my laptop in means that uh, I won't be cold. <laughs> Just down by the Budweiser factory, really, really sm strong smell of barley. The only thing I can describe it like is um, if you imagine you'd be swimming in a bowl of all bran probably a weird description but <laughs> it's quite strong. Now along here there's usually a lot of water rats. I've only disturbed one today and he went hopping into the river and um, it's actually warming up a bit, <laughs> feeling overdressed even though it's coming towards the middle of November. Yes, shut up. Um, but it's lovely, it is lovely. Uh, so this is Barnes. I come through all the time. I only thought I'd mention it because this is, uh, well, the birthplace of Holst, um, or rather where he lived, but, um, but probably more <laughs> impressively to you, you know, he did all 
music about planets. But um, more impressively to you, possibly, the uh, ancestral home of Robert Pattinson. Yes, fake vampire and boring teen heartthrob. And the only reason I mention that is because I was in a hotel room interviewing him with Mr. Anstis yesterday in the Corinthia. It's a beautiful hotel down by Whitehall. This is where he's from, ladies, so feel free, you know, form an orderly queue, start harassing the neighbours. Some Baywatch action. Anyway, I've missed you. I've missed our little chats, so uh, that's why I decided to do this walk. Plus the fact it is an awesome day. I thought I'd say hello, let you know what's going on. Uh, Crystal's going on holiday, beginning of December on the 2nd, to New Zealand for a friend's wedding. And so the day after, I'm going to Bavaria and stay in the mountains and look at the snow. And of course, you're coming with me because that's the advantage you have. No cost. So that should be very, very awesome. That's like two and a half weeks away. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. Uh, plus, uh, when you're watching this, uh, it'll probably be sort of somewhere around the 20th, uh, which means uh, Kerry is coming back on Friday the 25th for one night only. So watch this space. It's all going on. I have to keep pausing it because uh, people keep coming down uh, behind you in the direction I'm going, looking at me like, why is he filming his own face? He must be weird. <laughs> River people <laughs> haven't given me the same look. Yes, you're a freak of nature. You cannot do that. Cameras are meant to be pointed away from your face. Anyway, so Kerry's coming back on the 25th, so um, you better leave a thumbs up or a comment or as God knows what she might do. There'll be trouble. There'll definitely be trouble. So looking forward to that as well. And then it's nearly Christmas. I mean, once I come back from holiday, I'm going to have to do some shopping. Oh, God. Help me out. Good morning, Internet. Now, um, you may remember that uh, myself and Crystal went to uh, Kew Gardens. Um, we gather a lot, actually, but we <laughs> went into the gardens uh, just before Halloween uh, to try and get there uh, after dark, which we did achieve. In fact, that was a week before Halloween. Um, to try, just before the clocks went back, we managed to get there just it was dark and it closed about an hour later. But whilst I was there, I bought a very small plant pot um, because it sold uh, Norwegian spruce seeds. Now, Norwegian spruce, uh, a lot of you will know it as a Christmas tree. It's a sort of um, dropless uh, Christmas tree, but they grow massive, as you might imagine. They grow, you know, uh, to about you know, 30, 40 feet. So I thought, oh, seeds amazing in a tiny pot, but of course, two weeks later, nothing had happened. It just seemed like a gimmick. Anyway, yesterday, this happened. There you go, you see? I have two Norwegian spruces growing in the world's smallest pot. Um, so I'll update you as to their progress. Uh, when I have to take them into the wild, that's when it's going to become interesting. But the chilies are doing well too, look. I ate one of those the other day. Big mistake. They are unbelievably hot. And there's a couple more over there. And that green one's come out of nowhere, literally. There was nothing the other day. How's this one? Anything yet? Not really. Oh well, it's trying at least. Sometimes in life you get what you ask for. So. Next time you're in McDonald's, ask for a chicken Big Mac, and then wait for them to pause and say what, and then explain, take out the beef, put in the chicken. Easy as that, <laughs> take out the beef. <laughs> yes, hilarious, granted. <clears throat> Give it a go, very good, if you eat McDonald's. This is our Friday's end, with lots of people staring at their phones, and everyone else staring at Martin's top lip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's been... Steve, I've got to forgive him. No. <laughs> yeah. How do I... <laughs> right. Any suggestions on how I can make... No. Alvin from Alvin the Shitbox <laughs> sound Christmassy? <laughs> yeah, but put sleigh bells behind him. No. Um. <laughs>